So I'm British, which means a lot of tea and scones, but also it means we don't have Walmart. That's right, guys. I've never been to a Walmart in my life. So after popular demand, I thought I would build a Walmart in Bloxburg. And I've actually got the uniform too and changed my name to Mark. Behind me is a rough infrastructure. And I might turn this into a series because we've already done Ikea and now Walmart. So subscribe to the channel and comment down below what shop you want me to build next. Let's just call it Walmart. Beep, beep, beep. Okie dokie, guys. So much like my Ikea build, I actually made a whole chunk of this out of basic shape. No way. No way. No way. And when I looked up Walmart, there were so many different variants. I was like, one's a tropical paradise, one's a bit more industrial. But this is the one I went for. The iconic Walmart color is blue. Blue. But it also has a lot of this, like, orange concrete. But concrete just looks like such a flop in Bloxburg. I think I might have to make it some other texture. <laughs> this might be the strangest color scheme ever. But if I've learned anything in Bloxburg, guys, it's to trust the process. Some of the best builds I've ever created started off like I wanted to put them in the trash. Next up is going to be the window so that's why i made like this crazy arched pattern because in between here is going to be the window what's going on here we can't be having glitching at this early stage i don't often use these it's actually quite a nice treat when i get to a treat for most people is like an apple pie a piece of chocolate cake <laughs> a treat for me is using commercial windows in the picture they've actually made the outline of the windows blue i never normally do it anything other than black and white but that actually looks good also if you want to know what I'm eating, look at this garlic bread I made. I thought it'd be ready way before I started filming, but it wasn't. So I just thought, you know what? That can be my little Walmart snack. Up here, we have got to make that iconic Walmart sign. I don't know whether we should do writing or a decal. I'm going to look at decals. And if there's like a really nice one, then we'll use that. Oh my gosh, this is super califragilisticexpialidocious. I've just saved us a ton of time. And it's fully as big as it can be. Bigger, go bigger. It's bigger. For now, though, it will do. So let me just go around, finish off the rest of the side. If you couldn't tell, these dark caves here are actually going to be the pathways to get into the place. And I kind of feel like four is actually a bit too thick. And if you ever feel like that, just do a little, like, corner thing. Oh my gosh, look at this perfect spacing. I'm right on the pathway. And can we just talk about how Mark is the most manager name for a Walmart? You can just tell Mark is going to deal with this Karen. Excuse me, ma'am! Following that, we're going to add some bushes and I'm going to add the Easter egg ones again. And somebody actually points out they're called hydrangea bushes. I don't know what hydrangea is, but I'm just going to keep calling them Easter eggs. And it's actually cheaper to use these, so I'm not actually being totally crazy. Oh, that's nice. That is different. It's unusual. It's nice. It is nice. Different. It's different. It's it is nice. It's unusual. Anyways, this is kind of phase two of our plan, adding all of, like, the shrubberies. And I didn't actually realize how big this is. It's like Buckingham Palace size, which is perfect, because at the beginning we were talking about scones. And I'm not even lying, guys. Scones are one of my favorite foods. Like, people think it's a stereotype of being English, but I actually have them all the time. Oh, my God. I've just had a brilliant idea so you know in the new update they've added these backpacks and you can actually get like trolleys now like look at this we should make one of those trolley bays you know they have in like car park but it's basically just like a little glass greenhouse but instead of having like plants in the greenhouse you have trolleys oh my god oh my god they didn't add trolleys as an item, though. What am I meant to put in here? Oh, no. I've been fooled. Do not make me try and custom build a trolley again. This did not end well last time. Do you know what? In Walmart, I swear they have some trolleys like this. I mean, I don't know because I've never been, but they have, like, the ones with little baskets in the front. Da -da 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 -da, just casually building a Walmart. So we've got two of them in, and now I'm just placing the car parking spaces. But this car park is going to be a little bit different. I swear supermarkets just want to waste space you're a waste of space oh all throughout the car park <coughs> they blimmin have these x's everywhere can't park here why because you don't want me near your silly little bush <coughs> And I'm sorry, this is just proof build mode air is a real thing. Like, when you're in build mode, this looks so scatty. But just press H. Look at it. When you've got no grid. Beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. And we haven't even added in the greenery or the cars. I don't know how I keep getting new cars in my inventory, guys. I think I actually accidentally just buy them all the time. I might actually treat us to a Jeep. I haven't had a Jeep in yonks. Oh, yeah, babes. Oh, yeah. That is worth the money. Let's make it like a G-Wagon, shall we? We have two more things to add out here. First of all, lampposts. 
some reason I always forget to do those. And it's time for cherry blossom. And to switch up the cherry blossom trees, you guys love these, but I'm actually gonna make them like mini. It kind of looks like they're bushes. Oh my gosh, $30,000? 30,000? 30, my goodness, hopefully one day they don't add these then. I don't know how they make things more expensive when you make them smaller. And with a splash of color, <gasps> how tempting does this exterior look? So now it's time to go clinically inside. We've still got this little pathway and it's just another place to get trolleys. So I've just realized you guys actually call shopping carts. In America, do you guys have to put a pound coin in there or a dollar? We have to put a coin into the trolley if we want it, which at the end of the day is a little bit of a scam, but you know. Also, not gonna lie, these underground bits are literally the shiftiest places on earth. So I'm even gonna put shifty light. Perfect. Now we just need to work out how we're actually getting in here. So I reckon a couple of these Marshall doors. You might also notice this is actually a two-story building. This place is killer! But it's not all going to be two floors, if that makes sense. And three guesses, guys, how you're going to be getting up here. Whoever guesses wins a cookie. Those of you who commented escalate are absolutely right. This is where we need to go to Google and do some investigative journal journalism. Walmart interior. Why is Walmart so modern? I'm so sorry. I'm taking a picture of this. So I think downstairs is going to be food, fruits and stuff. And upstairs is going to be furniture. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. But I'm going to start with the counters. I normally hate the basic counter. It's actually perfect for cashiers. So obviously we're having them near the door, but well then you can straight away just leave. And I think we should have maybe two on each side. And at the end, they have like a hexagon. Do we even have a hexagon in Bloxburg? Oh my gosh, guys. Walmart is more advanced. We can kind of make one though. Also, they always have the little sign with the numbers on. They kind of look like little lollipop sticks. Finally, we've got to build that little space cube that they hide away in. We've got to add Walmart symbols everywhere. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to get matching numbers. This is all I could do. I don't know how in earth this is a one. And we can actually use some of the new items, guys. They've added a cheese grater. And also, fun fact, did you know this side of a cheese grater is so you can cut large slices of cheese. I always thought it was for decoration. This side is gonna be a little bit more like groceries. So with the power invested in me by editing, that is done. And underneath, I'm actually just halfway through placing the floor. And throwback to whoever watched my mall series, the floor Floor is going to be kind of like I did it in that, into which the outside is going to be like a white marble. Pretty. And then since it's Walmart, we're going to make blue shapes in the middle. Look at that. And what a nice Samaritan I'm going to be here, guys, adding a little extra shelf. This is going to be filled with grocery bags, which seems like a nice thing to do. We've really got the hard bit out of the way. So I'd say we're actually halfway done with the build now. The closest thing in Bloxburg we have to grocery store shelves are these heavy duty ones. So I'm going to try and organize as best as I can. So I think these four here should really be like that work. Work stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this hammer. <laughs> and I never understood how they can sell like sledgehammers in a shop. Like surely somebody can just pick that up and like smash up the shop. <laughs> Next to that, we're going to have drills. In some shops, they have boxes, like, underneath, which have the product in. It's getting very dark, so I'm doing my little building hack of putting a bunch of lights under the floor. Oh, my gosh. How is there little floating Walmart? What? Obviously, a supermarket is not the most aesthetic building in the world, but it's kind of like a practical one, you know? But, yeah, let me just quickly finish up this aisle. And just as I'm building this, guys, I realise there's a maintenance section in the decorations. I could have just been looking at this the whole time. But now that boring side is done, we can move on to the middle, which is going to be those aesthetic fruit baskets we saw. I have made fruit baskets before where you actually like go out of build mode and spend about an hour placing the fruit. But somebody actually commented a really good point. They were like, Reese's, why don't you just add a bunch of fruit bowls? And on the first section, we are just going to bunch these together like fruit galore. Oh my gosh, this looks like that Willy Wonka wall they lick off. I don't actually think that looks too shabby at all. And fruit is always in the entryway because people are obsessed with being healthy in this day and age. Fun fact, when you go a shop it's trying to trick you from the moment you walk in there's been documentaries on this so i'm not like exposing and i'm not saying walmart does this okay don't sue me just saying a lot of supermarkets on these like cash registers they'll place all the kids sweets at the bottom where the kids can reach for them and be like mommy buy these they'll put all the things you need like eggs at the back of the store which we're actually gonna do now and the reason for that is because you have to go all the way through the store to buy your essentials and you might pass like some detergent i might 
might as well get some of that. Therefore, you will buy as much as possible. What was that a conspiracy theory? Why did I just turn into Shane Dawson? Guys, how expensive are these getting? Crumbs. So if you ever want to go broke, guys, build an electronics aisle. I've always thought these stereos look a little bit like crazy surprised owls. Also, I literally have school in like an hour and I just find it so funny how I'm literally just playing Bloxburg right now. But I'll get these vids out for you guys. But downstairs, that's pretty much done. The only thing I'm going to do is go into structural items. This is just going to help to neaten up the upstairs. Upstairs is going to be the fun part because it's basically a furniture store and I've never built a furniture store in my life, which is weird because they're my favorite places in real life. Up here, I did just think I'd add one more little cashier. On the left side, I think we should make the fun bits like beds. Because they always decorate the bed so nice. So first of all, we're gonna have the most luxurious one. The next bit, we can have maybe like a princess bed. As it moves down, the genres kind of shift. So we've got fancier over here. This looks like some weird dorm room. First things first, we've obviously got to colour these a little bit nicer because I'm not trying to be rude. But what the hell? But even with just a bit of colouring, they still look like trash. And that's because we haven't decorated the bed. So search up comfort, and it will come up with everything for the bed. The first step is to put a comforter on all the beds and for some reason we don't have single blankets so I can only put blankets on the double beds. Next up, we need to get rid of the default pillow. So you start off by just placing a regular pillow down. Do you think this is what like maids have to do at the hotel? Oh my gosh, that'd be so, so fun. Like decorating beds all day, that sounds so cool. In the middle, we can put a bunch of bedside tables. And now this side, it's gonna be what I like to call storage and sofas. On the back wall, we're gonna have more of the storage units, which we know from downstairs. And we're gonna have some of these Andara's box. And inside of the box is gonna be all of the parts to the furniture. So they actually like to do mini showrooms, a little bit like Ikea, but like not as good, if you know what I mean. Try to set up a scene so you can actually see what it would look like in your house. And a little bit of cross advertising, we can put the fruit from downstairs. We have three podiums. On these ones, it's going to be like the stuff where, you know, posh people who talk like this go, oh, only I can afford this. Shut the hell up. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> Finally, for ease, we will put some more shopping carts each side. And Walmart is done! Wait, hey, this is Mark. Is it Karen in aisle 22? I'll be right there. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Oh my gosh, is that Walmart? I could do with some household supplies and maybe new furniture. Let's go park up. Oh, I'm in a bush. Help, help. Definitely didn't get stuck in a bush. Let's go grab a trolley. Oh, this one is nice, but I think I might want just a normal one, actually. Luckily, I have one in my backpack because I'm Mary Poppins, apparently. I can pull anything from thin air. No. Just before we go inside, let's just appreciate the outside. It's obviously a very different exterior for me. And then you walk through the front doors. So if you wanted fruit, you would buy it from these very shiny things. And you see what I mean? Just the LED lights immediately make you want to buy it. But remember, I wanted some household supplies. So this drill, and we can actually try it out on this. Oh my gosh, yes, this is perfect. Oh no, oh no, Walmart's collapsing. But yeah, this side is obviously industrialized. So like the caution, wet floor. Oh my gosh, you can even take this. You can carry everything these days. But yeah, that concludes this area. We obviously have the cash registers as well, which actually look really realistic to me. If we run over to the other side, we of course have the same thing with the counters, but this is more of the electronics. We could put all of these on. They normally have all the channels on. And imagine just being the cashier, you just get to sit here watch TV all day. We also have cameras, phones, MacBooks. There's just like casually 30 grand worth of MacBooks here. Oh, and back here we have the groceries, which hopefully they don't spoil because milk is just not even in a fridge. Anyways, let's head upstairs. So first of all, we're going to ignore the lights. They look like zits. So to the left, this actually does look pretty realistic, if I'm being honest with you. Having like the boxes, the chairs. Definitely not my best building, but it's not too shabby. Also, it gives us a cool balcony view of downstairs. And by the way, I started this video with a million dollars. So this Walmart is now worth 1.2 million. How do I spend so much in a video? It's actually concerning. If we run along to this side though, we have my favorite part, the beds. You're lying if you say you haven't gone and bounced along all the beds in a shop once. We also have bedside tables, different bedding. For so really, it's a very smart business. So that concludes Walmart. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you all next time.